let's talk about the New York and Paris, France-based open source enterprise content management developer Nuxio. They actually received a $20 million investment from Goldman Sachs. Now this adds to the $10 million commitment by Kennet Partners uh, announced in June. Now for a total of $30 million in funds. Good chunk of change. Now, in addition to the most recent funding, Christian Resch, the executive director at Goldman Sachs Private Capital, uh, was actually going to be joining Nuxio's board. So, lots been cooking with these guys. What's going on with them? Actually, give us a little background on really who they are, too. Sure. Nuxio um, has been around for quite some time, in fact. And I've, I've never had the pleasure of meeting Eric Baroka, the CEO, but we have a lot of mutual friends in common and folks who I know have actually worked there. Um, I've kind of always had an eye on them. It's an open source platform that really focuses on two main things primarily. Number one is enterprise content management. So to the point that we were making before, they are also a player in that space that OpenText just bought document them in that space yeah. there. Um, second is digital asset management where they have much more prominence. It's easier to stand out in that space. It's a much fragmented, smaller companies mm -hmm. there. That, um, so they have really good platforms in both of them. So, I think it's a it's a really interesting to see them be able to get some extra funding and what they're going to be able to do with it because they've always kind of bootstrapped to be honest yeah. and I felt like um, couldn't really put the spend in marketing couldn't really put the spend in in region growth uh, yeah. with sales forces of, of of people and stuff selling It'd be really interesting to be able to see how they compete and what they do with some money and and one of the things that they did recently I'll just mention in terms of spending um, already is they bought a product called in, in Evo. Um, and that product is all about um, three-dimensional uh, enterprise content and three-dimensional assets. So again, when you think about um, the idea of shifting to an AR world and a, and a yeah. VR world, 3D is really here, right? And there's a lot of different ways you need to be able to see and interact with yep. those assets to be able to understand what you've got there. And so this, this particular purchase that they made specializes completely in that. And so that'll work really well so with both their ACM and the curve with that? Is that kind of thinking right you know, now? I a think it's bit? interesting. I, I don't I don't have a really strong background yeah. myself on either of but those two fresh. markets. I mean, it really is. But I would have to say that they're they're right there with them because yeah. I don't know who would be too far in advance of that. Yeah. I, I certainly haven't heard of some of the other big dam widens and whatever else addressing that yeah. need, but that doesn't mean that they haven't. Yeah, but I would say they can't be too far ahead um, because yeah. it's pretty cutting edge, pretty new. Yeah. Perfect.